He got banned, bro. He got banned. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a fake Boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And we got to talk about some horrible censorship on YouTube and on TikTok and on Facebook and Instagram, all right? Now, there's this guy named Andrew Tate. Why is he famous? Well, he used to be a kickboxer. I guess he still kickboxes. He won a couple championships. He started a webcam business for girls, you know, so desperate simps can pay women to uh, show their boobies. And he's most recently famous for becoming a master marketer of his MLM, Hustlers University. So Andrew Tate participates in this whole red pill thing that's all over YouTube, all over social media. And the whole point of red pill and I used to read this crap too when I was single. <laughs> it's so stupid. The whole point of the red pill is to teach you the true nature of women and how you can, I don't know, once you master women, then you can you know, free yourself from the chains of female slavery, something like that, okay? I'm sure there's a thousand definitions of, of the red pill, but they, they teach you about female nature and how you should act as a man. Now, when it comes to Andrew Tate, he has this thing called Hustlers University. And I'll, I'll go into it in more detail in a little bit because I have some thoughts about it. I may even sign up just to actually check it out. But I went on the website this morning and it's $50 a month to sign up for Hustlers University. And what Andrew would do is he would use, uh, he would basically promote his program by paying people a commission to market the program. So all these clowns would go on TikTok and they would have these videos, these reels of Andrew Tate's like, oh, women, blah, 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 I'm a man. And, uh, you know, <laughs> and they would market his Hustlers University. And if anybody signed up, they would get a cut of the check. So it was brilliant. And people, people were signing up left and right, obviously. People were promoting his videos left and right. Because why work when you can just promote Hustlers University, you know? But the problem with Andrew Tate is he's a little too extreme for the average person, okay? And honestly, I think he's kind of a clown. Let me tell you why. So he's single. I believe he lives in Romania. And he has 100,000 girlfriends. And he's rich. And he drives nice cars. And he's got this whole philosophy of the system's, uh, you know, the system's going to screw you. You need to escape from the system, bro. And, you know, you need to be screwing around with a 1,000 women <laughs> in your mid-30s. Okay. He's a very interesting fella. Now, he appeals to young men because as a young man, I mean, what do you what do you want to do? You know, you got all these hot women, you know, you, they probably don't like you. <laughs> you want to get every woman possible. You want to be rich. You want to have a sports car. You want to live that high flyer, you know, you know, Chad life, basically. And the reality is, you know, this might sound like a little uh, conservative, okay? The reality is, as a young man, you need to focus on increasing your income, okay? Getting into shape, presenting yourself well, so you can eventually get freaking married. Because the whole point of, you know, screwing around with girls, it's all for fun, but it, it's not like this long lasting thing that's gonna give you fulfillment in life. I think personally, getting married and having children is what most people were intended to do. And I think most people would be happier doing that than being some freaking 35 year old or whatever, just screwing around with women constantly. Now, of course there's benefits to it. Oh, you do have a new girl every night because I'm Andrew Tate. You could be like me if you signed up for Hustlers University. But what does that really do for you, okay? At a certain point in your life, you know, you go from being a young man that just wants to meet up with every girl to hopefully maturing a little bit and saying, you know what? I would like to maybe settle down a little bit. Oh, maybe I'll have a spouse and maybe I'll have children and I can contribute to the future of humanity by raising my children properly and getting them ready for the world. Okay, that sounds like something that's reasonable to me. And when I think about what Andrew Tate does, like, well, I got a sports car and I just hook up with wood. I don't think I'd be happy doing that. 
I'm the kind of guy that, you know, I, I like being in a relationship. I like having a one woman who, you know, treats me right. And I like having kids, okay? But Andrew Tate's a very interesting fella. Now, a lot of his content is like, he, he's playing a character. It's so stupid. But, you know, he has these very, like, misogynistic opinions of women. <laughs> and he's pretty funny. <clears throat> but you got to realize, you're going to get, if you talk about that kind of stuff on social media, you're going to get freaking banned, okay? Once a Red Pill channel gets to a certain size, they're going to come after you. Because there's a whole, you know, agenda that attacks any kind of, like, hyper-masculinity. It's out there, and it's truly out there. And Andrew Tate getting banned, that was inevitable, okay? Totally freaking inevitable. Now, do I think it's like, oh, it's censorship and it's not fair? Well, that's kind of how the world works, okay? I mean, like, at a certain point, any kind of extreme fringe that talks about something that isn't very popular in society, <laughs> especially when women make up half the population, of course they're not going to like that. And of course there's going to be an influence that makes that stuff get freaking banned. So I am not surprised in the slightest that Andrew got banned. I mean, like, what, what else is there to say about it? But at the end of the day, his whole thing, it, it's a scam anyway, and it's actually a good thing. He's basically using, he's basically taking advantage of the whole red pill thing, which has become popular, because I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I guess modern women are harder to date. I, I think dating's always been hard. Modern women are hard to date, and uh, women don't want to get married and settle down and have kids. Okay, I see plenty of married couples everywhere with kids. <laughs> the world's not fair. But the red pill gets pop is really popular. And he took advantage of that. And then he says a bunch of clownish stuff. <laughs> and then his channel grows. And then he uses an MLM marketing scheme to get rich. And at the end of the day, you guys aren't ever going to be like Andrew Tate, okay? You guys, if you're some skinny dork that has no job or you work at like McDonald's or something... Signing up for Hustlers University <laughs> isn't going to make you this giga chad that lives in Romania driving a sports car around and, you know, having relations with the hottest girls on the freaking planet. That's not going to happen, okay? It's a total freaking scam. The best most men can hope for is, you know, you improve yourself to a decent amount to, you know, your, your capacity. Work out. I don't get a haircut. I used to cut my hair when I was single, by the way, but now... This is a dad haircut. <laughs> Cut your hair. You know, get a job. Grow your skills. Get better at something so you can make money. Save your money so you actually have resources. That's how you eventually get to the point where some woman will marry you. But a lot of these dorks, you know, they're out there like, oh, uh, I, I don't work out. I play, uh, I watch hentai and I play Pokemon. I mean, I play Pokemon too, but. They, pl they probably play it too much. I play Pokemon, and uh, yeah, it's not fair. I work at McDonald's. Why don't why women hook up with me? And they sign up for Hustlers University. Well, I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler, bro. Yeah, you can learn about crypto. They have they have four coaches for crypto on there. Yeah. <laughs> I can learn about stocks and business, and I can make money marketing to the MLM. It's BS. Okay? So the other day, like, I, well, I... I would personally not ban, like, if I was in charge, I would not ban Andrew Tate. But at the end of the day, it was inevitable. So all you guys that are outraged, and, oh, it's a feminist, uh, it's a gynocracy. <laughs> it's stupid. So that's kind of my thoughts. Maybe I'll cover Hustlers University, because I, I think it's a massive scam. I, I looked through it really quickly this morning. Crypto. Uh, freelancing. What do you get a freaking freelance with no skills? And there was like a stocks business section. It's probably all freaking BS. So that's kind of my thoughts. Whatever. You know, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of banning, but it was inevitable. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this.